your man, Big Veg, your rock Rocky media ambassador. You know it is. Rock when the radio, rock when the press. We are your number one networking tool for the media. And, you know, um, you know what I do? I got I got this rock Rocky series going on. And, you know, I interviewed all the top, top, you know, saying top people on the come up from entrepreneurs to to, 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 to actors to so many people, models, et cetera, et cetera, artists, DJs and all that. Today, today, though, in my own realm, you know what I mean? Because usually... This lady is all over the place. You know what I'm saying? This lovely woman right here that's to the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the left of me. She's all over the city. She's doing events. You know what I'm saying? She's basically the MC. You know what I mean? For, a lot of, for, for, for those that are watching, she's not the rapper. Mm-hmm. She's, not, she's not the dude. You know what I'm saying? She's not the chick that spits lyrics. Right. She is the, 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 the chick that will host your show, mm-hmm. your, your event. Uh-huh. The, the, the facilitator, you know what I'm saying? Basically, the person that puts the whole thing together and just holds it down, makes y'all dance, makes y'all get up, and just, you know what I mean? Holds down the whole event. I'm here with Miss Jessica Sinclair. How are you? Hi. Hi, hi everyone. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awesome. You know what I'm so you're here. We got an event. You came to Rockland County, my room. Yes. And, um, you know, you are hosting an event. Yes, I am. I'm hosting a wedding today for Sarah and Paul. Uh, drove an hour and a half to get here, but that's what you have to do to 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 make it work. That grind. That grind. Um, so she's an MC, y'all. She's a host. So you know, before we get into the whole interview, um, for those that are watching that might not know much about you, put to, put the people on. Okay. So you basically you know who you are, what you're about. Obviously, you're an MC, but get 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 deep into the details. Okay. Uh, Excellent. So hi, everyone. My name is Jessica Sinclair. I reside in Long Island, New York. Um, I have a background, a bachelor's in communications with a focus in public relations and advertising. How did I get here? I got here by being that go-to person for my PR team. So we had events. Um, I did entertainment PR. I would have to solidify the MC, solidify the musician, solidify the media, right? So I used to pitch to the media. Um, got rave reviews for how I was able to orchestrate everything. A very detail-oriented person that I am. Um, extreme A-type personality. That's someone that makes sure the I's are dot, T's are crossed. And I said to myself one day, you can totally be the entertainer that you're destined to be, not the behind the scenes kind of person. Um, I got my first get with On Vogue magazine. Shout out to Tyson Perez. He gave me those, those tools to go out there and feel confident to be on the mic. From there, the, actually, the rest was history. I um, did great at what I did, but my confidence wasn't where I wanted to be, so I kind of went back to the background. Um, speed to 2016, I launched uh, Sinclair Master Ceremonies, um, and from the and that's your company. That's my company, Sinclair Master Ceremonies. I am the lead event host right now, um, strategically building. Um, my goal is to have a team of MCs, people who are truly public speakers. Okay, public speaking on many different platforms. I mean, government, fundraising, nonprofit. Weddings, of course, you name it. A lot of people don't get the use of the tool of having a uh, professional, um, how would you say, event facilitator, and it's so needed. Okay, a family member can do it. Okay. When you have a professional, it gets you to the next level. It makes your event that much luxurious if that's what you're trying to do. Um, and so phone, my phone has been ringing ever since I launched last year. It was a slow launch. I took baby steps. Confidence kept on building. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a true communicator, okay? And um, like I said, I've just been getting phone calls, word of mouth. I, have, I launched my website, rebranded it last week. Um, shout out to Dell, made this phenomenal website. Um, you and I have teamed up. You always capture me in the best light. Honestly, people, he's the truth. He's the person that believes in small businesses and that's the platform that I that I'm on I have a lot of different things coming up next year but primarily when you ask me to do this interview it's very important to have people see a person a of color and be someone that truly believes in the product that they have that connection exactly a connector networking events I'm going to have a lot of different things in store with my team as I build slowly that's the key don't 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 strive so fast to be the next Oprah I want to be the next Oprah I'm putting it out there but it's baby steps okay um so you told me about your series especially for women I I want girls out there to know that you too can be an entrepreneur. Um, 
I didn't go to school for business. Like I said, I went to school for public relations. Right, right, right. I also have a health degree, you know, so every right. single day I'm educating right, right. Uh, my community, and that's really big for me. You're learning every, you're basically learning every day. Yes, exactly. I don't, no one's going to put me in a box. Um, no one's going to subject me to any type of things that I don't want to do because I have my education. She about to start the, you know how they have the Wu Tang Clan. She about to have the MC Clan, yeah, definitely. posse of MCs <laughs> under her. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's okay. it. So this is where I where I am now. And you're here with me at my event, amazing venue, and um, we're doing it right. We're doing this. So so before we continue more into what we're doing in the present, mm -hmm. let's go back into the past real quick. Okay. I want our viewers to understand how you got here. Like you said. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, how did this whole journey start? You becoming an MC? I mean, obviously, you know, you went to school for certain things right. and all that stuff. But how did Jessica Sinclair, the MC, come about from, from young to now? Truly, truly, Veg, it's family. Um, I'm the youngest of five. There's always a celebration in my household. I come from a West Indian background. My Both of my parents are from Kingston, Jamaica. I had a brother. I have three brothers and a sister. Um, and so he would always facilitate our events from baby showers to C16s. He had so much passion and um, I'm like, oh, I can I, I, I always wanted to take the mic from him. And I just kept on watching him articulating. The energy in the room was always electrifying. And so that's when I fell in love with the art of commanding a room and having the, the ability to let people have a really great time. So at the age of 15, 16, I knew I wanted to be a communicator, but I didn't know how, and I fell into PR, thinking that's what I wanted to do as far as communicating. But it's a different type of communication. It's more of writing. I want to be the voice, the voice of our time, the voice of now. And so that's how I got to the level of family saying, Jessica, you've been doing our events you need to make money from it. Spread out. Exactly. You do all your friends' events. You need to make money from it. Um, there's nothing like having a strong foundation. Right, right. I think of a lot of creatives. You know, they push the doctors, the nurses, the lawyers. What about people that are creative? You can make money from it. Right. And it's true. Like I said, it's truly needed. Um, it's not something that's new. An MC is not new. It's been around. But like you said, you would see them on the stage. Right. You know, like Buster Rhyme had, um, yeah. I forgot. Uh, a split star. Exactly, and his energy was always electrifying. Um, I try to use that as my model, but each event is different. I can't jump up and down for every event. However, I can be that cheerleader for my client. There's a certain protocol and certain type of strategy Absolutely. that you have for each event. Absolutely. From planning, an MC doesn't only show up, right? I, I do program development, all right? So you'll give me your run of show, I'll tweak it, I'll give you my... Um, expertise on what works and what doesn't and me and my client we go from there it's not just Jessica show up no you have to have meetings with me I want to make sure your vision will be executed the day of the wedding or the event you real serious about it yeah. you hear this? <laughs> do you hear this there's a lot of strategy that goes with being a host you know yeah. saying now let's talk about your MC yes. um I want you to tell me you know the do's and don'ts you feel you, since you've been in the field for so long, okay. and those that might be watching them, I want to get into your field as well. Okay. As an MC, as a host, you know what I'm saying, person that puts events together, do's and don'ts you feel about being an MC? The do's. Um, the do's are a little bit easier for me um, just because, like I said, I'm a personality. Mm -hmm. I need to, okay, first of all, you have to research, okay? I research the venue. Mm -hmm. I research the client's background. When a client comes to me and it's a wedding, I, need to, I, I do a little mini interview. I need to get to know who they are. How can I get that energy and level where it needs to be if I don't know who my client is? Know who your client is, please. Mm -hmm. um, so we said research, know who your client is. Mm -hmm preparation okay my run a show I like to have it two weeks before the wedding or the event I want to make sure I, I know the words that are on the paper I know how to pronounce the words that's on the paper yeah. all right so, so pronounce everybody's names right and absolutely. all that absolutely and you know what no one's perfect so if I have a slip up I always say I apologize yeah. okay because everyone has different ethnic names and things of that nature so you have to prepare so those are the do's that's everything okay research know your product prepare the don'ts do not drink at your event, okay? Do not come late. I cannot stress that with our community. You're getting paid, okay? Do not, and I can't stress that enough, do not come unprepared, okay? Technology, I had this happen, there was no Wi-Fi. So guess what, there was no run of show. I'm very old school, but I tried something different because I wanted to be cute, you know? 
um, print out your program. Have something tangible. Mm -hmm. You're going to see in today's video, I always have something tangible. Right. Okay? So please come prepared. Please know your audience, okay? You can't shout out John Brown if John Brown's not your audience. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Do not, like I said, preparation is everything. Yeah. Do not come through like it's John Jones from around the block, right, 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 okay? Right. Know who your audience is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prepare, prepare, prepare. I can't stress that enough. Right. Connect with the DJ. Mm -hmm. Connect with the floor. You are a vendor, mm -hmm. okay? I came in today. I already found out who my major D was. Mm -hmm. I found out where my setup was going to be. Just come prepared, come prepared to rock out. And it's important to come prepared. You have to, you have to. Um, don't, don't, don't. Oh, a big don't. I can't stress this enough, okay? Don't get paid the day of the event. You need to solidify your payments before you come to the event if you're an mm. MC. Because what happens is mm. the bride, the client, they're excited, mm. you rocked out, it comes to payment, they're like, they, they're having a great time. So their consumption level may be up there. Right, right, right. You don't want to have a funky confrontation yeah, over yeah, your money. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Please, you know, get your deposit, solidify your data. I can't tell you how many MCs that I've met never got that deposit and they got canceled on. You're your product, you're a business. Get your, get your deposit if you can before you come to the event. You want to get paid, you got to do it right. Yeah, exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Right. Yes, yes, hey. yes, yes. That's now let's talk about so my business. Uh -huh. Let's talk about your, um, you know, your business, uh, okay. you know what I'm saying? How did you get that started? Okay. Um, how did that come about? Like you said, it was a slow start, but here right. you are now, you're getting calls left and right. You know, for those that are watching that want to get their own businesses started, you know, yeah. talk about that. So I was in a rut, right? I um, left PR, kind of still wanted to get back in. You know, it's one of those games where it's all about who you know. I think in any, any facet, it's all about who you Connections. know. Connections. Connections. I have a lot of healthcare professionals, like I said, in my, in, in my background. Uh, Tasso Sinclair, where my brother, he's my second brother, was very instrumental in saying, you know what, sis, although you love PR, you're not getting the calls. Actually, you're getting the calls, but as far as the get, okay, that was a little bit hard. Um, I wrote it down. I, I'm an advocate for vision boards, okay? Don't, you can't get a board, get a piece of paper. I jotted down all my attributes. Everything kept on coming back to public speaking, okay? Energetic, great personality, lover of people. So I said to myself, how do I use these attributes to get to my next level? Everything kept on pointing to, public, um, to PR and also public speaking. So I said to myself, how do I get this idea off the ground? Called up a mentor I had back in the day, which like I said, who's your board members, okay? Who can help me get to that level? Getting... The knowledge was there, right? Right, right? Pulling the knowledge out. Right, right. Getting the knowledge out for me to stand strong. Confidence and fear will hold us back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Confidence, fear. Yeah. Fear is going to win. Yeah, yeah. It's strong. Okay? Um, so lead with confidence. If, if that's the only thing you get from this interview, right. lead with confidence. Right. Get your board members. Mm. Get your board members. Mm. Email. Don't say, and, and, and for some reason in our community, we feel like we're bothering people. People on a certain level want to give back, but they don't know how to give back. Right, right. Get these people all in one room, right. okay? And then get them involved. Get them involved, but don't, don't, don't have, don't get, get to the room and not have anything on paper. Mm -hmm. Where are your ideas? I had a meeting. I said, these are the ideas, okay? I got hired at her daughter's fashion show. Honestly, the rest was history because it put me in a, in a place where I'm like, okay, this, you're a professional. Right, right. You're getting a paycheck. Right, 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 right. From there, I, I, the phone call started happening. And it, it's, it's one of those stories mm. that you grind, and from there it takes off that one client. You know what I mean? And mm. anytime I walk in a room, I try to own it with the knowledge mm. because everyone's looking for an expert. Right. Uncle Jerome can do this. Right. Cousin Pat can do this, but when a professional walks into a room, they know your professional appearance mm -hmm. and have your ideas on paper. I like that. I like that. Um, definitely got to give back. And, you know, um, back right? you know, it definitely is. And congratulations to, I mean, you, how long has your uh, business been? In, in, it's, been it's been a year, right? It's a year. I had my one-year anniversary in December, December 4th. I had a great fashion shoot with my girlfriends. He was my photographer. It was a, a feel-good time. So, you know, I had champagne. But the purpose is... And it was to show the people, show America, I want to be international and international, show the, pre the people that the product is there. It's here to stay. It's here to stay. So a year in, 
I'm just going to get better and better. You know what I mean? My my videos are excellent. My website, www. Can I can I plug the website? <laughs> it is www.sinclairmasterceremonies.com. A master is someone that is confident enough to to emulate something. That's why it's called Sinclair Master. I get phone calls. Are you a guy? No, I'm a woman. Anybody could be a master. It's a universal. It's a mm. universal word. Mm. Um, I'm on Instagram. You know, Sinclair Master Ceremonies. Mm. Everything has to. Another thing too. When you're having a brand, keep it consistent, people. Yeah, keep it simple. You know what I mean. Your personal page is your personal page. But anything that's on this product is going to be SMC. Yeah. All right. So this is why I'm here to not only to promote, but to let my brothers and sisters know that entrepreneurship is is the way to go. Absolutely. So, so, so you're you're here today. You're, yes. you're you're doing events left and right. Um, is there any event that you haven't done yet that you could say that you want to conquer? I mean, I want to be on the Grammys. Okay, mm -hmm. I want to be on the billboards. Mm -hmm. I want to emulate Ryan Seacrest. Talk, um, he does all of these um, musical shows. Um, the voice, things of that nature. I would love to have a continuum of business when it comes to a, a program. Mm -hmm. um, my next get is to have a talk show. Mm -hmm. I wanna be the voice of our times, like I said before, congressional. I wanna be that fundraising person that's getting people riled up when that candidate comes on stage. Mm -hmm. So government is my next thing that I would like to transition into. Mm -hmm. um, Nassau County, there's a lot of reps that have been, you know, of interest that have been emailing. So, you know, I don't want to talk, I don't want to talk too much, yeah. but, but some to things your, are coming. You're, you're working on your question. I love events, but again, stepping stone, right? You know, the vision is to have that platform to help entrepreneurs. Business to business is everything for me. Um, for young boys and girls to say, you know what? I have someone that lives in my backyard. Mm -hmm. If Jessica Sinclair could do it, so can you. Right. It's the drive that we don't have or the support. The drive may be there, but the support is everything. Mm -hmm. Who's in your board? Who's your board members? Mm -hmm. Everyone should have one. Right. Those are just key people that's going to introduce you to folks. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm a, I'm a talker, no, so no, I. Will... She's an MC. Like I expected this. She's going to talk and talk and talk, but she's talking some sense. Yes. It's science. Yeah, it's just gems that I wanted to be able to yeah. drop for the, the sisters and the brothers out there that, that need to know that there's a face out there, there's, there's, there's education, but again, not everybody is, is, is school worthy. Not everyone should be in a classroom. Entrepreneurship, I can't stress enough. Keeping the money in the community, I can't stress that enough either. Okay, business to business is, is what it's about. All right, my next question is, um, I mean, you, you kind of been, going on and on about it as far as you know giving that advice out to those you know what i'm saying who's watching right now mm -hmm. um but you know let's get a little bit more detailed as far as those that might want to get into your field okay um give some advice to those that might be struggling to basically you know like you said achieve and conquer you know the fear conquer mm -hmm. trying to get prepared for events mm -hmm. and they want to get into your field of emceeing you okay. know give some advice all right first of all there's no school to be an MC. you either truly and <laughs> I don't want to say it's either you have it or you don't, but to command a crowd, public speaking is one of the highest fears in a, in all, all over. Yeah. People are afraid to talk in public, okay? Yeah. Yeah. So step one, take a public speaking class, okay? Mm -hmm. Get familiar with standing up in front of a crowd. Mm -hmm. Improv, okay? Not to say you want to be an actor, but get comfortable again in front of a crowd, all right? So you're going you're gonna to spend some money to take these classes, okay? Because like I said, there's no school to be an MC. Secondly, not everyone's going to pay you in the beginning. Unfortunately, people want to see what you're, what you're about. Volunteer. I can't tell you how many things I volunteered for, especially nonprofit work, okay, galas, things of that nature. Just get a feel to work a crowd. Volunteer. Team up with a DJ because at the end of the day, DJs are getting the call. A lot of people, for whatever reason, an MC to them is still brand new, okay? Team up with the DJ. Say, listen, let me do the entrance. Let me, let, let me be involved somehow. Get in the room, okay? Networking. Networking is everything. You may not have money for business cards, whatever the case may be. What I do, I went to Vista Prints. I'm sure they're still out there free for $250. Get something tangible, people, for someone to hold on to. Go in front of your, your mirror. Fine. I, Jessica, I don't know. I don't, can't afford public speaking classes. Get in front of your mirror. Record yourself. Read a commercial. Your favorite commercial. Read it in front of a mirror. Get used to looking back at yourself because when you're in front of a stage, you don't, when you're in front of a stage, you don't know what you look like. Use the mirror. The mirror is your best friend. 
I can't tell you enough. Network. Um, what else did I do? I, network. <laughs> net, I, I mean, network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the boardroom. I got the board members yeah. together. Um, utilize your resources. Social media is everything. A year ago, I really wasn't on it. I'm on it now. Oh, yeah. Hashtagging everything of that nature. Um, so much. So much people. You can really get to see what you can do. Record yourself. Start, start a YouTube page. Start there. I mean, people are very strict with their likes. That's okay. However, it's a way for you to see your videos and make corrections. I can't tell you how many adjustments I made when I saw myself live. So, those are the tips. So, so I've been talking to this lovely lady for the, for the whole dope interview, man. Like, I'm feeling inspired. So, what I'm going to let her do is, Jessica, I want you to plug basically your social media, okay. uh, your Instagram, your Twitter, and your websites as well. Where can people follow if they want to check you out? Excellent. Thank you so much for the opportunity, first of all. I think you're doing great things with this series. So, plugging myself. So, it's SinclairMastersCeremonies.com. Instagram as well, Sinclair Master Ceremonies. I'm on Facebook, Jessica Sinclair. Also, I do have now a business page on that, and it's also Sinclair Master Ceremonies. Everything is the same. You have to keep it the same when you're building a brand. All right? I, um, if you go on my website, there's a form, an inquiry page. Please fill it out. I respond in less than 24 hours. I'm always on the phone. Any, any last words that you want to leave for our viewers? Absolutely. Um, believe in yourself, guys. I can't stress that enough. And, of course, my motto always is, your event deserves to stand out. So see you soon. Hey, <laughs> it deserves to stand out, right? Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? You're going to find her at your next event. You need it. You and need at your it. next event, your next event. Call me. That's what I say. <laughs> Call her, text her, message her, everything. Everything. You know what I mean? Sinclair Master Ceremonies, get with it. You know what I mean? It's your man, Big Veg, or you know it is. You're a Rockerazzi Media Ambassador getting interviews with all the exclusive, you know what I'm saying, brothers and sisters on the come up. Have to. You know what I mean? Hit me up if you need that. You know what I'm saying? If you're an actor, if you if you are an MC, <laughs> holla at me. Exactly. We, 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 we get busy. You know what I'm saying? Rock one radio, rock one radio, rock one press. We are your number one networking tool for the media. Until next time, y'all. Stay tuned. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> we out, y'all. Peace. this evening beautiful young lady very 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 pretty young lady I'm um, doing a wonderful job we were researching and trying to find an MC and it really was obvious we had to choose Jessica because she was super organized and bubbly and really knew you know exactly how to help run the show you know which I really needed because first time buyer <laughs> St. Clair Master of Ceremonies had a great job coming into the occasion. Wonderful reception, wonderful energy. It's a great match, positive into positive energy. So I want to thank Jessica from St. Clair Master Ceremonies for being a fabulous host for this event. It was absolutely amazing. She was great, energetic, and passionate. We are attending the wedding of my daughter and her husband, or husband as of a few hours ago. And this whole evening has been orchestrated by Jessica, Jessica St. Clair and St. Clair Master of Ceremonies, who have done a phenomenal job. And I just wanted to make sure that everything goes right, you know, because there's a lot of detail and she's very detail oriented. And, you know, I think basically, I, I don't know what else great things to say. She's just um, a very efficient. She's been here for the last two hours, which I think in making the whole evening go very smoothly, the music, everything. Voice clear and a uh, beautiful smile. I love how she's um, engaging everybody. Um, there is so much to say that I'm lost for words right now. But she is doing a fantastic job. Can't wait to have her at one of my events. Thank you so much. Could not chose better. I would have the same. 
I will choose the same. And we enjoyed every moment of it. Shout out to Sinclair, master of ceremonies.